Youth runner here with the uh, ladies from Lone Peak. Uh, first time three-peat uh, in program history, five titles overall in the past six years in Utah High School Activities Association uh, 6A final. We're going to thank you. Got to uh, gotta make sure that they got the hardware to match the fashion. Look at how fashionable this group is. There isn't a better one in the country. Boston, uh, you and I were just uh, sharing conversations. Yeah, I mean, obviously, in terms of just the, like the, the journey, right? I mean, if, if if we look at just how many people have been asked, you know, to, to take on roles that they probably didn't think that they were going to be taking on, you know, and just and, and contributing in, in such a meaningful way, like just how exciting is it? Uh, uh, I mean, for all the great moments that you've been a part of and contributed to, like uh, to see some of your amazing friends and teammates celebrating their first state championship experience. Yeah, it's definitely a different experience to be here cheering instead of racing, but I actually loved it. It was a massive learning opportunity to just watch them from an outsider's perspective, like work so hard and be here and give it everything and be able to watch them do it where I wasn't focused on just my race. I was just focused on making sure that they all had everything that they needed. It was just a super, super cool experience. Most definitely. Uh, and. Uh, and uh, uh, just in, in terms of you know, uh, the, uh, the group being able uh, to to check today off, and then you know, it's how as, as someone that understands how significant the next three weeks are, like just you know how you know how uh, just instrumental is this in terms of kind of like you know being the catalyst to what the group wants to do in Arizona and Lord willing in Oregon. Yeah, for sure. We are so excited for NXR. Um, today was um, a good start to the three big races at the end of the season, and we're super excited to go give everything at NXR, hopefully make it to NXN. Awesome. In, uh, in, in terms of, you know, this group has excelled once upon a time on a course that finished inside the stadium. <laughs> They've excelled at the complex. Uh, did, uh, but did, uh, did you ladies uh, uh, feel like there were certain things that you had to be very respectful of and mindful of being back on this course? Because obviously it's a much more strength course than the complex was. Oh, 100%. We definitely planned a lot for the beginning. We knew that we couldn't take that hill um, out super fast because that would just ruin your leg. So we took the hill um, confident and strong and then we started moving along and like making our way back up. So we definitely um, catered to the course and we're really excited to race in this course because we're um, a team that's really good at hills so it was yeah and it's a beautiful course so, most yeah. definitely I mean not I mean not, I mean obviously there were amazing memories created at the at the complex and whatnot but like yeah this this is kind of what the team needs to be able to get ready for Toka Sticks and Lord willing for for yes. Glendivere right like to be on a course like this is that fair um, I say that is fair because NXN the course we run at NXN is um, very hilly also and um, it honestly reminded me of this course so yeah I would say we need a hard course like this prepare awesome Anna great job <laughs> thank you uh, just in in, in 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 terms of you know you ladies who have been veterans of this process and you know and and obviously you know Courtney just understanding you know like you know, like all the steps you know along I mean does it still allow you like you girls to, you, to really you know just celebrate the, the magnitude of achievements like this like when I say five titles in the past six years and three in a row for the first time in Lone Peak history like I know everybody like wants to look to November 23rd and you know ultimately December 7th but I mean are, do you ladies like you, you really feel like there was a sense of great achievement today yeah it honestly is different every year I feel like I get like a different sense of nerves and I feel like each member of our team is like feels different going into it and every single time we come out we like it's just the same high we get like and it's so cool because there's not like oh we've already done that no it's just like it's such a great experience and it's so cool to be able to do it again and it's just like you you get so happy from it and it's like it never fails to put a smile on all of our faces <laughs> awesome congratulations thank you so much Maya just uh, such conviction so, uh, such courage uh, but obviously uh, you are a woman that uh, not only continues to grow and develop, but learns, right? Uh, you, to be able to have the opportunity to, to challenge yourself and, and test some things uh, uh, today, like how much do you hope that, that uh, that's going to, you know, just give you the, you know, the, the awareness and the education that, uh, that you need going to Arizona and hopefully Oregon? Oh, I think it's so important to maybe like, we got to overcome a lot of challenges and just throughout the season and having teammates be injured and come back like it makes you stronger but I think it's going to help us a lot for NXR and NXN and we're so much closer through the challenges and through doing hard things together. Most definitely. Uh, just the, uh, the fact that you are always there for this team, right? And so even like when things got tough you know, for, uh, for you uh, during the race, I mean, if I didn't know, I'd be, I thought I was watching boxing or MMA, you know, at, uh, at certain points of the race. But just, but you're always aware that it's like, 
uh, it has to be for the team. Like I have to, su I have to sustain for the team. Like how much was that driving you at the end of the race? Oh, I could totally, I could definitely just feel my team behind me and know that they, like we were doing it together. It's like something we're accomplishing together. It's not an, I mean, it's not an individual sport. Like you're working, and so that meant so much. I could just feel their strength. Awesome. It was good. Great job. Uh, obviously, we get to celebrate so many families that are part of this. Obviously, yours is, uh, is, is certainly one of them. But I mean, like I was saying to Boston, like uh, the, you know, the, uh, the people that would watch siblings or watch friends or watch teammates, you know, have moments like this. What does a moment like this mean to you? Um, it's really important. I mean, we worked like all of summer. We were saying before, like all this work that we put in is super important and just being able to watch friends and like because we're pretty much a family and so getting to watch friends and family do good is most important and i feel like that also is what helps us drive within the race because doing it for our team and family so. awesome congratulations thank you you were so phenomenal today you've been so uh, so uh, amazing th uh, throughout the season what uh not only your belief in, in what you feel like you're capable of come Arizona and Lord Lane, Oregon, but you know what that does to allow this team to explore capabilities and whatnot. Like, how excited are, are, are you about what uh, got got showcased today? Oh, I'm so excited. I think this is just a little start to hopefully what we can do for the rest of the season. I have so much faith in these guys, and I, I can just feel our potential and um, our hard work and our training and our momentum, and it's, it's going up. I mean, again, this is not yeah, your first time celebrating, you know, a, a championship again, whether it's at the complex or, or here. But do you have even more optimism and enthusiasm in late October than you have at any point in your career? Yes, definitely, for awesome. sure. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Showing no nerves whatsoever, obviously, just uh, totally uh, uh, ready uh, for the big moment. When you have amazing coaches like Courtney and Ryan, and you have amazing, you know, uh, teammates and sisters uh, uh, here, like. How how instrumental is that in just making it? Just it's like, hey, let's just go out and run with run with our teammates and run with our friends, run with our sisters. Like we don't need to make more of it, you know, than it is. And it just seemed like uh, you really just kind of sub subscribe to that today. Is that is that is that like me looking at your body language? Is that fair in terms of how they made you feel? Yeah, that means these girls are everything, and it's just like I would not be where I am right now if it weren't for them. And I don't think any of us would. Cause like we train together every single day. We have the best coaches, and they just carry us like every single day through the good and bad. Awesome. And as we're all getting to feel like popsicles here, uh, 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 wrapping up. Uh, just, uh, in, in terms of, and I asked Boston uh, this as well, but just you know, like the, the excitement of looking forward to the next three weeks, but also just kind of like how locked in everybody needs to be. Like the people that have played soccer, it's like we don't have to worry about soccer anymore. The people that are coming back from injuries or you know are healthy and whatnot. Like just you know, how, so the fact that we can really, the whole group can really focus in on. You know, just these weeks of training in, in, in Arizona, like, uh, how much motivation and inspiration does that create? Um, I think we're just all going to, like, come into these next three weeks just feeling prepared and, like, we all got each other's backs and just, like, having trust and, like, faith in each other and just knowing that, like, if someone's, like, down, just, like, tell both them up and we just have so much love and, like, it's so much like a family that we just, like, all love and, like, respect each other and just know that we're all going to do amazing and push each other these next three weeks to prepare ourselves and I think that's awesome. Well, you can't have a conversation come late November, early December without talking about uh, the Lone Peak Knights again. Three-peat for the first time, five titles in the past six years. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you.